morning. I'm quite emotional after seeing that video. So you're Vima. You are. And I'm the girl that was on the profiles that you have no idea. <laughs> I'm not well known. I don't run a billion dollar industry. But I'm me. Don't tell me things are impossible. In the 10 years that I have done this, I have met the most extraordinary people, and I'm an advisor for some of the biggest names to start talking about disability. And you know, more than anything, I remember when I started my business, nobody believed in me because disability isn't the thing that people want to talk about. It's the thing they're terrified of because we can't eradicate it. And there was a really, really successful Irish businessman who I had never gone to for money because I didn't want to be another person asking. He saw me on a TV show. He wrote me this huge check that I had to count the notes. And I remember leaving his office. And I said, why, why, why are you giving me this? And he said, because I believe in you. Because you believe it's possible. I believe it's possible. I, even though BK thinks I am confident enough to stand here, I have never spoken to an audience the size of you. I was terrified. <laughs> but I believe it's possible to change the world. And in the video just there, there are so many things our eyes can't see, but you don't need eyes to see. You need vision. It's in your heart. You have it. And you know something more than anything. There's an expression we all talk about that seeing is believing. I hate that expression. Well, for obvious reasons, because I can't see what I mean. I'll tell you why I hate it. Because I believe it should be the other way around. Believing is seeing. Because when you believe it, you'll see it in no way that you can ever imagine. And don't you for one moment think believing is what makes this stuff happen. It's not simply about belief, it's hard work and pain and joy. It's the roller coaster of life. You know, Vegas and Vima were as much set up on belief, but also on the hard work of, of people and individuals and collectives. This isn't a story about a disabled girl or anything even vaguely inspirational. Every single one of us needs to believe in ourselves and in our ordinary lives. We're not all going to be Bono. And that's okay too. I'm taller than him. <laughs> but every one of us can be more than we even know. I really believe that. I believe that change is possible. I believe that you have so much more individually in yourselves. I believe that we can deal with the pain and the joy and have it better. And so I just kind of want to end by saying thank you for believing in me for the 15 minutes I've been with you. I hope that you will remember that an Irish girl stood on your stage, jet lagged, high on verve, because <laughs> I love it. It got me here. When you see that disability and difference is the best thing about us, your color is orange. It's a great color, by the way. Do you know what it is? It's the color for letting go. I said it to BK yesterday. Often to believe in ourselves, we've got to let the old stuff go. Let it go. When I finally let go that I wasn't perfect, I've just had the most magical up and down life you can imagine. I could have been a consultant forever. But mostly, Letting go is not living to somebody else's opinion of you. If mum and dad had decided that I was going to do the normal visually impaired life, I'd have been making baskets. I've got other plans. Do not let somebody else define you. Let go. Be yourself. To me, and I've lived it, for most things, impossible is simply an opinion. Don't let it be somebody else's opinion. You own your life. You make it possible. Just believe completely and wholly in yourselves.
Thank you.